So I want to preach a message I have called don't cut people's ears off. And this is a, a message that is more of to the leaders to the preachers praise the lord Amina. especially those of you that have been called to ministry now first of all i want to first say as a pastor as an apostle why are you rude to people Praise the Lord. Amen. These days, I don't know why men of God are angry. Praise the Lord. Amen. When he's coming to the stage to preach, he's angry. When he's leaving the stage, he's angry. When you're talking to him, he has better things to do. He has better things to do. Also, people, when he's talking to them, he has other better things to do. And when I am preaching like this, I am also including myself. I am saying as men of God, can we put on a smile to be angry? Too angry. <laughs> Just say, man of God. And you think you abused him. Or you did something wrong. Too angry. This we have to start from. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, as men of God, we are supposed to emulate. We are supposed to represent. We are supposed to mirror the face of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. That when somebody meets you as a man of God, you don't need to preach a sermon to them. They say, I met Jesus. Can I tell you something? We are never busy. As men of God. We just, let me tell you, when somebody tells you they are busy, it's because they they just don't feel like you have to be busy. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, Allow me this summer. It also touches me. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Kati. as the church, Get Kanisa. we have run out of summons. Because we have run out of summons, now the order of the day is attacking each other. Praise the Lord. Amen. When I stand here, I am saying the other church is not good because they did ABC. And also the other church, when they start preaching, they are saying ABC. Praise the Lord. And it doesn't matter whether you use parables. A sermon of love is a sermon of love. And a sermon of hate is a sermon of hate. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's not enough when I say on this altar we don't mention names. Praise the Lord. No, no, no. In Neta. my heart I have mentioned them. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Can Amina. we preach a message that is of Christ Jesus? Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a high gear day. Praise the Lord. Amen. A time has come when Apostle Kutesa stands up and he says there is a man at Kembabazi. Oh my God. And I also stand up and I say there is a man in Entebbe called Apostle Kutesa. 
Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. As men of God, can we start loving each other? And not on the outside. On the inside. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Kati. we are going to go deeper. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are tired to of summons. Angeli. Angeli. Praise the Lord. Amen. We are tired of men of God leading churches are not being in them. We are tired of churches leading communities are not being involved in them. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we get to a place where as a man of God you're involved in your church? Where people don't just see you on Wednesday. Where you're involved in their life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, you Kati. can say so gamba. What if the people are many? And I can also ask you, how did Jesus do it? Praise the Lord. Amen. You can be faithful in the lives of 12. Praise the Lord. Amen. And those 12 are faithful in the lives of 12 each. You already passed 100 people. So don't say because your church is big. You can't give everybody time. No, you can give 12 men time. And those 12 men will give each 12 people time. And those 12 they will give time will also give 12. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That is not the sermon. Now, Kati. as the church, Joshua, Jagalon Kubira can to talk about life is easy. Praise the Lord. Kubanga. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Praise the Lord. So clear. Ah. Now, Kati. have we as the church misinterpreted Jesus? Because very many times we have misinterpreted other things. But my question today is have we misinterpreted Jesus? And I want to explain why as the church, I think we have misinterpreted Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Kati, when you go to John chapter 21, verse 19, we are going to read a few scriptures, but I want you to stay with me because I want to build up this sermon. Have you heard Michelle? Eh? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. The Bible says, Bible this is spoke signifying, first go back to like, when, like 18. Quick, quick, quickly, quickly. The Bible says, most assuredly I said to you, when you were younger, you, were, you, you guarded yourself and walked where you wish. Now, he's talking to Peter. Apostle Kutesa. He's Apostle Kutesa. talking to Peter. Now, Peter. when you go to 19, the Bible says, Agamba. this is spoke signifying by what death you would glorify God. In other words, Jesus is telling Peter, this is how you will die. When you go to 20, then Peter turning around so the disciple whom Jesus loved the most. Then, who, who also had leaned on his breast at supper and uh, said, uh, he, says, he says, Lord, who is this one who betrays you? Stay with me. So Peter, 
Peter. Jesus has told Peter, yes, wagambe, Peter. You are going to die for the sake of the gospel. Kuenjiri. Then in the moment, Peter says, Peter agamba, I don't worry about how I will die. Sifa, kuenjiri, kuenjiri, kuenjiri. What about this John? Naya, tono, it's not about me. Sicha, tachif, kwa, what about John? Naya, tono. Go to 21. Mwemu. The Bible says, Peter seeing him say to Jesus, Peter, ngamlawe, nagamba, yesu. but Lord, what Nye, about mkama. this man? I don't know, msajja. Go to 22. Jesus said to him, yes, if I will Reme- if if I will that he remain till I come, what is that to you? I want to listen to me. He's saying, if I will that he remain till I come. He's not saying, I am willing. Okay. Got it. Jesus has told Peter. Yes, I'm Peter. This is how you will die. But we're going to fall. Peter asks Jesus. Peter abuza Yesu. What about John? I don't know Yukana. Jesus says, Yesu amgamba. If I will that he stays alive until I come. Singa njaga na bila rubera pakwe na koma o. That is up to me. Eto chiri jendi. Go to twenty three. Abri musatu. Then this saying went out among the brethren. Enjaga na neke na mboru ganda. That this disciple would not die. Chono mi kiri zata jakufa. But that's not what Jesus said. Ne cho si si ayogera. Jesus said, yes, we are if I will that he stays until, what is it to you? Chiri 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 chiri. They changed his words Neba and ye. said, John Neba would not die. Are you listening? Now, already they have changed the testimony of Jesus. Now, listen. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die. Praise the Lord. Okay, if you have not understood, put up your hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus yes. was talking to Peter. Peter. And he told him, Namugamba, what if I decide that he stays and and does not die until I come. What what is that to you? But the word went around. That Jesus had said that John would yes. not die. Now, when you study uh, theology, praise the Lord. Amen. Men waited for John not to die. <laughs> yes. Because they thought Jesus said he would not die. Yes, you got to jump far. Praise the Lord. Amen. But they changed what? Never choose, some choose. Mugamba yeba zibwe. Praise the Lord. Should we continue? Now let's start the sermon. Katatan kenjiri. Praise the Lord. Because Amen. the sermon is do not cut off the ears. We ni lega tosa la koma tu. Of your listeners. Gaba uri zavo. Praise the Lord. Luke chapter 22. Luke verse 36. Projection team, you're doing an amazing job. Praise the Lord. This is a love ministry. How can you not project when he's on the altar? Those are machines. Don't you make mistakes? Praise Amina. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yeah. The Bible says, then he said to them, Now listen. enjoy this. Then he said to them, But now, Kakati. he who has a money bag, let him take it, and likewise a, 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 a knapsack, and he who has no sword, let him sell his garment, and buy one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tobias, <laughs> Tongue and Mass on Jacques. This is ministers are sharp. Praise the Lord. You have gone to the end of the sermon. Okay, the can, you ask, can you take this man to the back? <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. I'm joking. Praise God. Amen. Now, Kati. these are the words of Jesus. No, he has said, 
Agambye. He's talking to the disciples. He who has a money bag. Let him take it. And likewise a knapsack. Now, listen to the words of Jesus. He says, and he who has no sword. Let him sell his garment and buy one. Banange. Please. Jesus has told the disciples to buy a sword. To sell their garment and buy a sword. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go to, to 37. The Bible says, For I said to you that this which is written must still be accomplished in me. And he who was numbered with the transgressors, for the things concerning me have an end. Go to 38. So they said, Lord, look here at two swords. So, Peter. Uh, yeah. Peter comes out Avayo. and he says, Jesus, Nagamba Yesu. keep quiet. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was prepared. It's just that I didn't tell you. Now that you've given me a chance, let me show you. He says, My master, keep quiet. We've got the swords. So he tells him, he's like, we have two. <laughs> that that's more sword kept. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, and, and he was saying, <laughs> in case my master says something, I'm ready. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Kati. when they said, look here, we have two swords, <laughs> The Bible says, Bible gamba, and he said to them, gamba, it is enough. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amina. Now, Kati. when Jesus says it's enough, yes, chimala. some renderings have an exclamation. In other words, <laughs> he, he, he was not telling them that these two swords are enough. <laughs> he was saying, enough. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, there are people when they are interpreting scripture, especially Jesus, they don't mind tonation. Let me first say something. Jesus, yes. The person of Jesus is different from the teachings of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you do not know the person of Jesus, you will misinterpret the teachings of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'll give you an example. Imagine somebody said, Bambi, please vow, leave the place. Or your donation. Are you hearing the donation? Bambi, please vow, leave the place. The person is saying, Gamba, move, vow. Probably there is something that was going to fall on you. And then when somebody is interpreting that, they change that donation. And they say, you leave the place. Praise the Lord. Amen. You see how donation is important? That you can send a text message and it can be misinterpreted by the reader because of the donation they think the person spoke in. Praise Jesus Yesu. is peace. He's soft spoken. He's a still small voice. But when some preachers are preaching Jesus, it ceases to be good news. Praise the Lord. 
You'll die. It's the way, the truth, and the life. And yet Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. It's good news. But when some preachers are preaching, it becomes the law. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we go deeper? When Jesus is talking to the Pharisees, he tells them, you search these scriptures intently. Thinking in them is life. But he says that yet eternal life is before you. Where does the man have so much scripture but miss the person? Am I preaching to somebody? Praise the Lord. Amen. Before you can want to store it, because knowledge puffs up. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why when Jesus is teaching about the Pharisees, so he's talking of, of yeast. Yeast puffs up the bread. But inside there is air. And that's what knowledge does. The Bible says, Jesus is the wisdom of God. Not the knowledge of God. When you're talking of the person of Jesus, you're talking of the wisdom of God. That doesn't perform. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on, Praise the Lord. Now, there are people who teach from the Old Testament. It's not bad. But I am telling you that the least in this kingdom is greater than all that. In other words, when you're teaching us the prophets, understand that John the Baptist was the greatest in the prophets. But Jesus said, even a child in the new kingdom is greater than John the Baptist. Praise the Lord. Amen. So enter the Old Testament to know that Jesus comes to shine light, praise the Lord, on everything that was opaque. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you for paying school fees, my parents. Tell your neighbor, opaque. Praise the Lord. Amen. But it, I don't want it to puff me up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody picking something? Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Kati. when we were young, we my brother Denson is here. Denson we were born three. Boys. And then later, God added a family unto us. But when we were growing up, we grew up in a very humble family. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah, very humble. I think that's one disadvantage, mom and dad, that you have with me being a preacher because I will share everything <laughs> when we are growing. But we were humble. Meet on a Sunday. We meet on a Sunday. Meet on a Sunday. Meet on a Sunday. During the week, Oh, you just have find yourself. Some little beans, peanuts, yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, <coughs> I remember my dad. Tata wangi. I learned so much from my dad. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. I Amina. love that man with my heart. My dad had never told us no. Praise the Lord. Amina. You would ask him. You would ask for something like a bicycle. And he tells you, uh, 
Okay, which color do you want? Kala chijo ya gala. You like me purple. Ya gala purple. And all my brothers also say what the colors they want. No, 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 ne bagala bi bagala. He says, "Okay." Naga kala. He's like, "But where would you pack them?" Ne mujazi teka wa. You plan. Ne muteka o plan yao. Then that year ends. Praise the Lord. Ne buku hako. He he would not tell us no. That would not connect. Praise the Lord. Amina. So we grew up in a family. Twakuri amaka. It was not very rich. Stegani magaga. But we were content. Ne era twali ba mativu. So we had our neighbors. Twaina baliranwa. And uh, there were ministers. Bali ba weleza. The dad was a minister. Eh tata yali minister. So you know these days there is a lot of komera wa But those days you would play in the community. So we went to their house. When it was time for food. They brought cake. They brought cake. It was a starter. Che chali chitandika. Where we were coming from? We started saying whose birthday is it? Praise the Lord. Stay with me. So they brought cutlery. For us at home the table we had one knife. And normally it would be the one that cuts the matoke. Praise the Lord. Amen. They brought the short one middle long. Akatona kampi akawamvu ko akawamu. And then the, 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 the cake came with ice cream. Cake ne jana ice cream. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then for us at home, fewaka, you touch food without praying. No kwata kumere ngato sabiye. They would slap you. Bajia kuboru. Praise the Lord. Amen. We knew it. Twati manya. You would sit and wait netulinda you pray ne and eat ne mulia so even when we went to this site we twatenoruda we nuno. waited twalindirira for prayer esara these people started eating and what they call kulia we say this is heaven let god in oguru praise the lord amen first of all etsoka the way they were eating engeje baliangamu they were wasting How do you put three pieces of chicken on one plate? And if it's that you have to take and you eat half one. No ya kaka tundu kacho. Catch fit mu. Eh. Praise the Lord. Amen. We were seeing new things. They had a PlayStation. By na PlayStation. Praise the Lord. Amen. And they were not fighting for the parts. Ngati balwani la bintu ebi bakwata. Ngave ya veya. Ngawe bili. The, the sitting room had the TV. Edi ro yali na TV. And there was another sitting room with the TV. Edi ro dangali na TV. So you could watch from here. Osokula bila wano. And another person is watching from there. Ngomla la la bila eri. My friend We were three boys. We would fight for that remote. Of course, me now I was young. One wants to watch soccer, another one cars, another one football. Praise the Lord. But here you watch whatever you want. No one is minding you. It was new. Praise the Lord. Amen. It was new. Hallelujah. Of course we got to a place. Part come to for. Where now my parents God bless them and money came. Mama kama ya gago za bazale ba tsenzija. Nyaka sera ako. I went back home. Nadai waka. I told God no. Ninga mkama nedda. I never seen that life. No problem so la nga ko. Do you know as a child when when you have bicycles outside oh man nga mino bugali you have a playstation inside mina playstation you have munda. tvs everywhere tv nyinyi zijju debuli wan and the fridge you can go nga fridge so genda praise the lord and, and you open the fridge no go out fridge and <laughs> praise the lord amen but you see What am I trying to say? Chichengeza ko gamba. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am trying to say ngamba that 
Amakaga faganye sigome gai nengeri yao. Praise the Lord. Amina. And this other family also had its way. Na makaga no gai nengeri yao. We can, we could come from this family. Paso kuvange no. And try to use what we did in this family. Ngeza kwa sabi tuwa kola wanunga. But the two could not mix. Likewise, we could not come back from this family and try to bring this kind of mindset here. What if we have judged Jesus Christ because of our culture? What if we have judged Jesus Christ because of our religion? What if we have made Jesus say things he didn't say? What if we have changed what he said according to how we have been brought up? Praise the Lord. Amen. Today you're going to add me some few minutes. Because I need to drive this point home. Praise the Lord. There is when when I went to university. When I to university, my parents took me abroad to study. Thank Thank you. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Uh, they love God. When you love God, uh, finally you become rich. Praise the Lord. So love God. God. <laughs> but when I reached there, <laughs> it was an insult <laughs> for a man not to have hair. Yeah. Yes. In other words, when you cut off your hair, it's a disgrace. Here, when you grow hair, you are a muyai. You see what I am saying? Now, that is culture. That in the time of Solomon, I mean, uh, Samson, Samson, that cutting off his hair was a taboo. In our time, growing it is a taboo. That is why, as a man of God, you can think that because you have a culture, it is a God culture. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And then you, you enter your small box. No, and you think you. because you don't like something, no, no, heaven no. doesn't like no, something. No. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I am telling you, no, no, no. what if because of our culture, no, no, no. we have misjudged? Yes, we have misjudged. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because as, as a family, you grow up praying silently. When you hear somebody praying loudly, you oh, think they don't know God. Or because as a family, you grow up praying loudly. When you hear somebody praying softly, you think they don't know God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Now. Ah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, when Jesus was talking to these people, he told them it's enough. But that's enough. They perceived it according to their culture. Because for them, a sword meant a real iron thing that was used for killing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. Go to 39. The Bible says, coming out, he went into the Mount of Olives. As he was accustomed, skip that, go to 40. Uh -huh. uh, 41. Forty-two, quickly. Uh -huh. Forty-three. So he's in. Uh, he's praying. Praise the Lord. In uh, in in the what? In the Garden of Gethsemane. Praise the Lord. Go to forty-four. Uh huh. Forty-five. Forty-six, quickly. Forty-seven. 
Uh -huh. Now the Bible says somebody Bible is gamba. talking there. I don't know who. The Bible says, and while he was still speaking, we are behold, a multitude, la and he who called, he who was called Judas, yeah, praise the Lord. Amen. One of the twelve went before them yeah, and drew near to Jesus na yesu. to kiss him. Na Fort, Forty-eight. But na Jesus na said na. to him, yes, na Judas. Na Yuda. Are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? When those around him saw what was going to happen, they said to him, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? Praise the Lord. Amen. Because you have already told us above that we should sell our jackets and buy the sword. We are ready. Praise the Lord. Amen. Go to 40, 50. The Bible says, and one of them. Now, now, now Peter is saying, Peter Agamba, this is the time we have been waiting. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hey, you have already told us what what's up. We have to. Praise the Lord. So Jesus was still planning. Yes, we are here. Take a take a. Peter came. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, and one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. So Jesus was still speaking. The man knew the mandate. He came with a, with, with a, with a sword. 51. But Jesus answered and said, Yes, Madam Nagamba. Permit even this. And then he says, and he touched his ear and healed him. Now, my friend Peter is puzzled. You told us to sell the jackets and buy a sword. Clearly, you want us to fight. Now, I have helped you and cut off the ear of your enemy and you healed him. Jesus, are you double minded? Yes, Chichi. Now, if if you keep healing your enemies that we are killing, how will we win? Praise the Lord. Amen. 52. Then Jesus said to the chief priests, yes, captains of the temple, and the elders who had come to him, have you come out? as against a robber with swords and clubs. 53. When I was with you daily in the temple, you did not try to seize me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. 54. Having arrested him, they led him. Now, Is it possible? And I'm finishing. Is it possible that Peter misunderstood Jesus? That when Jesus said sword, he was not meaning the sword that Peter fought Jesus. Is it possible? That Peter misunderstood Jesus when he said, What is it to you if this man stays alive until I come? Praise the Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, there is so much I wanted to speak. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I can tell you for a fact yes, bagamba, that you can study scripture so, so and miss the person. No, so, 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 so. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now the challenge as leaders is, is that we are cutting people's ears off in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord that the sword that God has given us 
to bring peace. The sword that God has given us to bring hope. The sword that God has given us to bring joy. The, the, the sword that God has given us to bring faith. The sword that God has given us to speak the good news. We are using it to cut off people's ears. In the name of Jesus. As I was preparing the sermon today, I started speaking to myself. And I said, how many times have we men of God spoken what God has not said in his name? Praise the Lord. Amen. Let me tell you. There is somebody that is in your meeting and they are hurting. There is somebody in your meeting and they are going through a broken relationship. There is somebody in your meeting and they have not eaten anything for the last three days. There is somebody in your meeting and they have never felt loved or appreciated. And when they come to you, they expect to be healed. They expect to be filled with hope. They expect to be filled with comfort and compassion. But what do we do? We cut their ears off. We cut their ears off. We cut their ears off. It is good news. The Bible says, For God so loved that he sent his son. Because of love, he sent Jesus. Not because of wrath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, if you are here and you are a minister, I beseech you that know the person of Jesus Christ. Because when you understand his person, you will understand his message. Praise the Lord. Amen. To know Okumanya. that because Peter misunderstood the sword Jesus was talking about, he's not different with the high priest who don't know that this is the Son of God. So Peter needs the same grace to preserve him as the high priest he has cut off the ear. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's not be puffed up with knowledge. But when people are close to us, they cannot see the person of Jesus. We have preached so much Jesus, but we have not been him. People hear so much from us, but they don't encounter and experience so much from us. When people are around you, you are not the person of Jesus. When people are around you, do they feel the grace you're preaching? When people are around you, do they feel the compassion you preach? When people are around you, do they experience the good news that you preach? It is so easy to preach, but it is harder to live what you preach. And it's sad that we are in a place where we are telling people that they should follow what we say and not who we are. It's a shame. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go to the book of Acts. Acts chapter 
Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a shame. She's wiser. Praise the Lord. Amen. Every day, as I finish, you have an opportunity to heal the ears of your listeners. Don't cut them off. As a church, can we go to the men that the that 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 the church has rejected? The, the people where the church doesn't want to go. Can we go there? And as house of, love, and a house of love, may it be far away from us that you discriminate somebody you're sitting next to because they don't look the part, because they don't smell the part, because they are not putting on a tie. May you not discriminate that young boy or that young girl because that may actually be the future of our, our generation. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why every Wednesday yes, so actually, we, we go out. We call everybody. Because everybody needs to hear this news. Everybody needs a second chance. God gave me a revelation, man of God. And he says, men of God love preaching the branch that was cut off and thrown in the fire. But they don't teach us the bad that sprouts out after one branch is cut off. Because if the root is not uprooted, there is hope for Everybody. Yes, Lord. You scare people and you tell them if you're not good enough, Jesus will cut off and throw you through the fire. Tell us the bad that grows when one branch is cut off. Because I believe that's the same God who forgives 77 times. Praise the Lord. Amen. Heal the ears. Don't cut them off. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's what Jesus was talking about. Was the forgiveness that he was going to give us. Now, I want to tell you I don't care what you did last week. I don't care what you did yesterday. I don't care how much you've messed up. Yes, people can write you off. But God has not written you off. He loves you. People can say you have failed. But God is not saying you have failed. God is cheering you on because he knows that as long as you have managed to wake up today there is hope for you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Get up on your feet. Let me ask Magnificent, eternally. Glorious Jesus, no one You are magnificent eternally wonderful glory.
Jesus No one ever will come to you Jesus No one If you should do things my way, you alone are God. To your will, to your will, say it's all about you, it's all about For the ministers, may God help us as we walk and look like Jesus every day. That as we behold, we will be transformed and translated to Him. May men experience what we preach. For a man says, we have seen and we have touched this Jesus. May men experience it. May men touch it. May somebody say, I met the man of God. And he's filled with love. May we be more and more like Jesus. Not in our words, but in our lives. And if there is anybody here and you're hurting, healing is coming your way. If there is somebody here and you have been in a loss, God is reviving you. If there is somebody here and you've been rejected all your life, you have found a family. If there is somebody here and you, 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 you have been guilty all your life because you did something last year or this year and the devil has continuously reminded you that God is angry with you. Today I am here to represent heaven and to tell you that that God died for you and there is nothing he holds against you. He has forgiven you. 
Isn't that good news? To know that we are free. To know that we have a father that loves us. To know that we have a father that is proud of us. To know that we have a father that cannot forsake or leave us. There is hope. Because God is madly in love with you. If you're here and you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, put up your hand. Today is that day. Today is that day. I want to give you Jesus. And he's going to love you. And he's going to increase you. Put up your hand. Don't fear. Come, come. If you've put up your hand, come. I want to pray with you. Ivan, I love you. Ivan, you. For your glory and your fame It's not about me As if you should do this by way You alone are God And I surrender To your will To your will Say it's all about you.